Hey, what's up YouTube and welcome back. <clears throat> Wanted to take opportunity to walk you through how to use stockcharts.com. So here we are on the landing page. Up here at the top, you can type in either the company name or you can type in the ticker if you already know what that is, but I'm gonna use Apple as an example. On the left-hand side, you're gonna see the ticker symbol, AAPL. All right, so here we are on the main landing page. So <clears throat> this is where it's gonna take you every time you type in a symbol when you first land at stockcharts.com up here in the top. Now I wanted to walk you through some of the features of stock charts and kind of give you an overview of what's going on. So up here at the top is the RSI or relative strength index. This is pretty common amongst traders. This green section is above this 70 mark. Generally speaking, most people use this indicator as an over overpurchased or overbought position, meaning they believe that there's likely to be a correction in the near future. The 30 mark, this bar here, is usually looked at as an oversold um, region, and there's going to be a likely, likely to be a stock correction. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that these are just indicators, and that's all that they are. Do not take them as a set in stone or there is a guarantee for a price correction, but a lot of individuals use them as indicators. This blue line here represents the 50 day moving average. If you can see MA here and that 50, um, that represents 50 days and that moving average for the 50 days is $166.72. The red line represents the 200 day moving average as represented here with the 200. And that moving average for that stock price is 153.92. And as you can see, you see volume of 75,615,000. That's also represented up here in the top for volume. And down here in the bottom, um, this bar graph here, the red represents price moving lower for the day, and the black represents price moving higher for the day. Down below, you're gonna see the MACD. So the MACD is generally looked at as a as an indicator for a stock correction. Um, more on that later, but MACD is another popular indicator people use. For the chart attributes, the period you can switch it from the daily to the weekly. Um, filling the chart right now is set up at six month time period. If you wanted to change that to a year, three years, you see these different options here. Um, you can sp set specific um, start dates or year to date, those types of things. So let's set it to a year and we're going to keep it as candlesticks. We're going to, going to click update. And you're gonna see that it's been pushed out to a year and um, still captures all the same data, the 50 day moving average, the 200 day moving average, all those things. If um, we pop back to the six month time period, if on some people's charts, you might see a, a different style of charting, not necessarily just this normal, um, what they call a candlestick. This OHLC bar is pretty common. Um, so if you're not sure what that is, and you might see this on someone's video, um, it's likely gonna be this OHLC bar. So you can change that here if you like that better. Some of the overlays. So like I mentioned up above, you have this um, simple moving average or the 50 day moving average, the 200 day moving average. You can also add, you know, if you wanted to decrease this to a five day moving average, in order to do that, all you have to do is switch that number there and then click update and it's gonna be represented in this green line. So anything up here is indicated, um, use this as your kind of basis for, for different colors. But say you didn't wanna do any more moving averages and maybe wanted to throw in Bollinger Bands, um, click update and that's gonna be represented again up here in this section with the green bar and you're gonna see the upper limits and the lower limits. So if you see that on someone's chart, um, that's called a Bollinger Band. Now for the indicators, like I mentioned earlier, we have the RSI up at the top, which is generally looked at as an over-purchased or an oversold region. And the MACD, which is down below here. There's also a plethora of different options. So there's infinite options down here. Now everyone has their own reason for using different indicators. Um, one that I've seen used in the past is called Bollinger Band Percentage. And the general thought here is when it goes below this, the closer it is to zero, below this dotted line, um, if it stays below this line longer, there's the general idea that they 
that we believe that the stock should be making a correction to the upside um, while using the MACD and the RSI indicators as well. Now, it depends on your trading style, but um, for the purpose of this, yeah, Bollinger Bands, I uh, just want to show you how to change these different indicators and how to implement them. If you know, you're watching a video and someone's saying, hey, use the MACD or the Bollinger Band percentages or the um, correlation or whatever, um, that's where you can find it in these indicators. And if you wanted to jump through different stocks, I suggest doing so from this section up here. And the reason for that is it keeps all of the different parameters, indicators, and things that you've changed on this chart without having to sign in and save your account. Um, if you go up to the top up here and you input a new company or a new ticker symbol, it's gonna reset all of the chart things back to normal. So I highly recommend that if you wanna look at another chart or another company using this same chart um, settings to just update it here. So if we put in Costco, you're gonna see that all of our stuff has stayed the same. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to give you a quick video walking you through some of the different benefits of stockcharts.com and how to change some of the different parameters. So please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below, but as always, thank you for taking a look and I hope this was helpful. Thanks and talk to you soon. Bye.